Caddis Maxis here. This time with a S-Wing Pro Claw. This is a 10 inch, they also have a 12 inch trim and molding claw. So what this has is kind of a cat's paw style for extracting nails. You just take this hammer it into the material and then be able to extract. Uh, you, since it's trim and molding, that would be finished nails, the ones that don't have any heads. This one definitely is seen some use. We can certainly see plenty of hammer marks. I did a little bit of filing because it was starting to mushroom over a little bit. Other than that, it is made in Japan. One of the few overseas made S-Wing tools, surprisingly enough, but certainly plenty good quality and uh, Japanese made. Being trim and molding, what it has is it has a wide spatula. S-Wing has a few different versions of these, some that look like this, some are which are the heavy duty ones. We can see that when you're using these tools, you do this edge here does tend to get a little bit torn up, but it's nothing that just a few licks with a file across this surface and across the back can't sharpen up. You do have this nice wide curvature. These are actually kind of handy in automotive uses too, all sorts of trim panels and that type of stuff. This really wide thin surface with this broad curve is just really excellent. Plus the way you have the right angle here of the cat's paw is really just absolutely excellent for getting into all sorts of those plastic trim panels, getting under them, and then you have just this really wide area that provides lots of extra support. So you're less likely to ding or crack those plastic panels, and then the wide uh, curvature just gives you a lot of controllable prying action to, to get those panels off, and that's really uh, a big advantage. It's not just for the molding, for the same reason, the wide area when you're trying to pull off molding makes it so that you have less likely of denting the material, the wall, sheetrock, or drywall behind the molding just because you're offsetting the pressure over more area. And the whole purpose of these is they're just smaller. Many times you'd use something like, you know, a Vaughn Super Bar, which is essentially the very same thing. Long, wide curvature, wide area, thin tang. They just tend to be much larger, such as the Super Bar, or of course the Super Bar XL. And so that's just kind of the neat thing. And I do like these Estwing versions. Nice little Japanese uh, trim and molding 10 inch pry bar. Anyway, really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.